Most of the time, they have a really hard heart. Okay? And they're not nice, they're not kind, they're not compassionate because they don't have Jesus. But if you love Jesus and His Spirit lives in you, then you're going to have a tender heart. So what you need to do is you need to be thinking today. Everybody take a deep breath. Blow out. You need to think, do I have a tender heart? Or when I see people, even if they're mean, they're angry, they're liars, they're cheaters, whatever they are, am I tenderhearted? Do I have compassion? Because this Samaritan, he had compassion. And he walked up, and listen what the Bible says he did. He went to him. You can just go ahead and stand up so they can see you. We'll put you in a chair. All right, so they can see you. He, he went to him, and the Bible says he bound up his wounds. If you have anything in there, you can find them. It's good. So he took care of the man. Go ahead. He bound up his sores to heal him and make him better. Okay? The Bible says he poured on the hurt man oil and wine. And you're thinking, why in the world did he pour oil and wine? Well, back in Bible days, that would be like us pouring hydrogen peroxide. Do you have any of that? Oil in there. All right. And he, the Samaritan took his oil and his wine, like a good, you might have a cotton ball, but you need the cotton ball when you want to just pour it over his head. Okay. All right. And he put oil and wine on him. Then, you know what he did? He took the man and he put the man on his own animal. That would be like us saying, he put him in his car, okay? He put him in his car, put him on his own animal. Good job, he's looking out there. Okay? And he put him on his own animal, and, the net, and he took care of him. He took him to an inn. Raise your hand if you know what an inn is. Right here. A sort of, a little bit different, a little bit different. What's an inn? It's like a hotel. So he took him. To a hotel. Well, he put him on his animal. You, you know what? This lady was here. You could be our animal. She looks like a good animal. Can you get down and watch this? This is his dog. So you put him on your dog.
But I'm not just going to say I'm going to do it. I'm going to prove it by my actions. Which one of you would say, I'm going to prove to be a neighbor to people that are kind of stinky? Because sometimes that's hard. I'm going to show them love by my actions. Here's a tough one. Who's going to prove to be a neighbor at home with their brother and their sister? Because the Bible says love one another, but here's the thing you have to know. In order to prove it, you've got to be kind, tender-hearted, and forgiving one another. So listen very carefully. I have rewritten words to this song, and it's something you don't like, so don't say oh. But just listen carefully and see if you can notice the new word. And then we'll be through. Skid of a rinky-dinky-dinky. Skid of a rinky-dinky. I'll prove my love to you. Skid of a rinky-dinky-dinky. Skid of a rinky-dinky-dinky. I'll prove that I love you. 